yeah, making a video about uh, the jet plane, Frank Whittle. This particular one. Well, anything interesting around here. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, we're gonna to have a look at RAF Wittering. And outside, they've put this amazing jet plane on display for everyone to see. So it would be rude not to stop and have a look. There's the Cressler. Royal Air Force Station, Wittering. It says on uh, the internet that this Harrier jet plane that stands outside RAF Wittering guards a well-kept secret. The jet engine was invented 90 years ago, and that article is 2019, by a pilot officer who had gone there to become an instructor called Frank Whittle. What a view from that angle, and straight up the wing. It says that RAF Wittering, located in Cambridgeshire and Northamptonshire, is the main operating base and headquarters for the RAF A4 force, and is a major station for fly flying training. Wow. Where does that footpath go? Oh, visitors. A visitor reception area sign which takes you into here what's it say controlled access one person at a time oh it's a few covid rules in there but you've got uh, the royal air force police over there look not very often you see vehicles like that royal air force police What's in there? Is that like a museum? Oh, you're on the phone? No, it's not like a museum. It's just like a, a reception area where you go and uh, maybe book in and get escorted somewhere else. I don't know. That looks like a bit of a museum. Right? They've got the the top top thing. So really, the only thing that you can see is the plane, the Harrier jet. Hiya. Just making a video. Yeah, making a video about uh, the jet plane, Frank Whittle. Well, anything interesting around here? But I, I presume this is all the restricted area past the barriers. I can't hear you, mate, the traffic. Yeah, everything around here is military property. Is there anything specific you're trying to do here? Or is it yeah. Just a case of just... Any, anything that's publicly accessible and interesting, I'm just here to make a little video about it today. Okay. Um, so far, I've just discovered Frank Whittle invented the jet engine on this base. Fantastic. And that exhibit is for the members of the public to take an interest in, I presume. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. I, I had no idea. I didn't know about Frank Whittle myself, so... Yeah, yeah, I'm reading it now. Um, the sign over there that said visitor reception area, that yeah. led me to walk down there. Was it yourself on the phone? No, it wasn't myself. Oh, the right, okay. Part of the, part of the guards that walk the there to make sure that the camera's safe. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to try and get into your restricted areas, so I'll stay out here. That's absolutely fine. Yeah. I, I went up to the um, reception area arrow sign to see if it was like a museum or anything in there for the public, but it's not, is it? What's in there? That's, uh, well, that's, that's uh, in, inside the actual place itself. In the, where it says reception for visitors, what's in that's that? That's for anybody that's visiting this area, yeah. uh, whether it's military personnel or, or other vehicles making deliveries, very possibly, or something like that. Yeah, I thought so. Like they should check in and get escorted wherever yeah. they need to be, etc. A lot of it's pre-arranged, yeah. uh, but yeah. uh, we have contractors as well, so it could be something like that, but that's, that's, uh, that's about it. Yeah. So there's always just want to make sure there's no, uh, obviously, malicious intention to be yourself. Right, okay, I think you've satisfied that, haven't you? Yeah, well, you never know. Well, keep an eye on me just to make sure. But yeah, I'm all right. I've just got a camera. Won't be long. I, f I presume um, this this area is restricted for drone drone photography, isn't it? That's, no, that's, not, something, that's, that's not some information we can pass on. Yeah, I've got like a drone any, in. Uh, any, any airfield anywhere, as you, as you can imagine. 
Yeah, I've got a drone in my rucksack. Normally when I go to places interesting, I, I take the drone over for a shot. But I don't think the software will allow it here because uh, I've never done a, a airfield. Unless that's been cleared. Uh, yeah. I, I, definitely I can definitely imagine that's not, uh, not allowed. I was going to like put it to the test to see if there's a certain height limit or a certain like um, geofence area in the software. But no, it's nothing to do with you. I'm just asking if you know of anyone I trying mean, it before. You're aware of, of, of the military and what we actually provide, what we do. So you can imagine that that would be you can imagine, uh, unacceptable. But that's oh, so you. Not for me. I'm not making that decision. Oh, right. The military police would then make that decision. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you're in communication with them, um, let them know that that's what I'm intending to do. I'm just going to see if the software will allow it. Because I want to take, while I'm here, I want to see uh, if I can get some shots of other planes. Maybe the case, maybe it might be worth uh, finding out, going to the medium officer and then seeing that, if you could actually do that, but I, just, I can imagine as it is, Jim, as most of this stuff is, uh, is unacceptable to the general public. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to see if the geofence covers this area, but I've travelled quite a way, so I just want to get as much footage as possible. That's fine. Thank you very much. Yeah, thanks, mate. Thank you very much. So, yeah, there wasn't really... Uh, willing to comment. I thought if I mentioned the drone, that might get them uh, commented a bit more. On the website, it says, who's based here? So I'm gonna list those people that are based here. It's 16 squadron, 115 squadron, 504 squadron, Cambridge University Air Squadron, University of London Air Squadron, Free Flying Training School, Wow, I need a break after that. Just noticed over here we've got some uh, caravans. So they must do some sort of caravan storage as well. I mean, if you're going to store your caravan somewhere secure, <laughs> an RAF base would be a good place to put it. With the, the gatehouse over there, you've got loads of cameras, you've even got the police on site. So yeah, loads of spare space as well, which you don't normally see on caravan storage, They're normally absolutely rammed. But plenty, plenty of caravans being stored on there. Returning from overseas, declare this to the guard, then submit your vehicle for search. Switch off headlights, identification passes, ready for inspection. Found a BBC News article there that says in 2015, Tom Cruise spent a week secretly filming an airborne stunt for his new action movie. And, and it says uh, scenes for Mission Impossible 5, Rogue Nation were shot at RAF Wittering in Cambridgeshire. Cruise carried out the stunt himself and it involved running across an aircraft wing on the runway and hanging onto the outside of the fuselage when it took off. <laughs> he says, I couldn't sleep the night before. That is a right beast. I wonder what that does. Let me know in the comments what that does. The ALE40 safety pin. You got a little cut out there where the wheels go up. It says, do not put your hand on that. <laughs> I won't want to be putting my hand on that. These missiles that will shoot out. But a few things that these say on them. You've got uh, ground use only. Date of manufacture. Ejector attention. I mean, would you ever think that you'd get this close to these sort of missiles? crazy how you can actually get this close normally it's all uh, barriered off on things like this fire access there in the cockpit up top that's hanging off there that one it wasn't me so yeah, where that blue dot is on the screen there, that's the DJI Fly app. And it clearly shows that it's uh, all in the red restricted zone. So even if somebody tried to take their drone off from this close, the software just simply wouldn't allow it. Which, and that's really good to see. 
that uh, it's got a safety feature like that in it. So well done DJI. And look, they are recruiting. So if you wanna get closer to them babies, that might be for you. Ministry of Defence, this is a prohibited place within the meaning of the Official Secrets Act. Unauthorised persons entering this area may be arrested and prosecuted. Entering, yeah? Entering. We will never enter. We'll take photos and videos and stand outside, but we'll certainly never enter. Look how old that bus stop is, though. Wow. The old concrete bus stops with no windows. The modern ones, they're all glass nowadays and they're constantly getting smashed. So maybe you should go back to something like that. Some fuel tankers there in the distance. Army fuel tankers. So as you see on screen right now, where the blue dot is, is where I'm standing. So in front of me, we've got all the, the lights which show up the, uh, the approach to the landing strip. And behind me, more of them lights. And you can see the blue dot just down there. You've got the long runway. While standing outside this RAF wittering, I know it's just on every tree. It's actually got a tag WITG001. And then we'll go to the next tree. And it's got WITG002. And here she is, 007. We finally get to meet in person. There you are. But on the floor here, look, you can see some sort of um, like cat's eyes. That's weird, isn't it? To have like um, a row of cat's eyes in like a car park bay. What, no idea why they'd do that. Vehicles do not have priority on this site. Mate, what, excuse me? Do you know the, um, the cat eyes on the floor? Yeah. What are they for? Uh, oh, they actually illuminate. All yeah. oh, right. They give extra light at night time. All oh, right, okay. I need to light up that area though. That's strange, isn't it? But at least he answered the question, you know? No hostility there from these guys. So obviously when you approach this uh, site, it's, you're very fast on the approach. They have got a little bit of a slip road, but then you need to brake hard. And look, they've done a nice thing. They've put all grit down. Obviously they want to protect their asset as well, but the grit down on the floor shows that they actually do care. You know, they are bothered. They are forward thinking. And their behavior has been perfectly fine with me. Came over asking a few questions. We satisfied his uh, suspicion, hopefully. We didn't get to see any planes other than this beast here. And we know a little bit more about it. It's good to see that the drone software doesn't allow takeoff of drones. That's very, very good to see. I wanted to test that. I didn't get it out. I just tested it with the software on the phone. So that's it from this one. I've been here for a while. I can't find anything else interesting to comment on, so I'm going to move on. So if you have liked it, guys, press the thumbs up button, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye for now.